What's up, this is John Dalvik in Washington Yador, housemusic.com. So how are you doing? I'm very good. How do you like Vancouver so far? I love it. We were out walking today and it's so, so beautiful. Yeah. It's European. It's European, really? Yeah. Okay, so you grew up in a family with your mom as a singer and your dad who's drumming. So what influenced you to become into house music? Um, I also have a cousin, Jesper, who's been doing techno for like 15 years. And um, yeah, I just got into it when I was 15 and started doing it. So what do you prefer more, um, producing or DJing? You know, it's, it's um, different worlds. In, in the studio, I'm like... Um, it's funny because I have all the power in the world in the studio. I can do exactly what I want. But at a club, you know, I, had a, I have a crowd to look after. and you know, uh, please. Uh, but it's, you know, it's amazing. You do one track in the studio the one day and then the next day you play it out in front of people, so, yeah. So what would you say describes your style the most? Um, it's kind of crossover, actually. I, I love to, um, to blend all these, like, even minimal stuff with house music and techno and maybe even trance and now like you can everything is so combined and crossover that you know trans DJ play house tracks and, and uh, the other way around so yeah now. yeah so right now there's a lot of Swedish DJs that are amazingly popular right now so what's the trick what's the house music scene like in Sweden and how are you guys rocking the world right now well the scene is quite boring um, all the clubs are it's not happening um, but it's because, you know, we have darkness so much every year. <laughs> like winter time, the sun never goes up. So we need to do stuff. So people are in the studio uh, in winter time. We're, I'm in the studio from 8 to 8 probably. And um, everyone's like that. So I guess we're just pushing it. So what are some producers or artists that you'd like to work with in the future? Um, I mean, I don't really like working with, with other people in the studio because I'm really control free. Um, but I just did a track with Avicii that is out now. And that one worked out well, actually. Uh, but I'm mostly alone in the studio. I need, I need to uh, be super concentrated and just do whatever I want to do. And when I have people there and they tell me, like, almost what to do, I get really like, mm, we'll get out, you know. I want to do it myself. So we've got Avicii coming here in a, a couple of weeks, um, and so can you tell us a secret about him? Well, he's just super young and, you know, really nice guy and he's really talented and he just, uh, he's been working at his home studio for, for ages and, you know, now he's coming along and, and uh, he's got a massive track, Romance, it's just everywhere and, um, yeah, he's going to be huge. And so, what's a festival that you'd like to play at? Um, I just did a really good festival in Belgium called Tomorrowland, which is um, 50,000 people on, on the stage. And um, yeah, it's actually amazing. But I heard some of these, um, what's that, Electric Daisy in the US? Uh, I saw some videos of that, and that looked really good. So, Would you say that was your favorite moment ever get at a gig? Um, Tomorrowland, yeah. I mean, this year it, it was pretty massive. I played just before Getta and um, yeah, it was just great. Can you tell us about your day, like a normal day with John, what would it be like? Okay, so I woke up and I, I take my dog to the studio. Um, I'm there usually around 8. And then um, the studio complex is like 8 studios where um, it's most mainly house producers there. So we all we all meet up and go to each studios and work on a track and then we go to lunch. Always the same time. We always go to lunch at like 
um, have a coffee and then go back to the studio and then we leave at four uh, or later um, yeah and then I you know have dinner and play video games or whatever nice. what kind of video game I'm a huge uh, Call of Duty freak actually I'm just playing multiplayer like crazy <laughs> is that your biggest secret oh uh, yeah I mean it's not a secret I mean I'm, I'm online there so um, I, mean, I guess the next step is to buy one of those like uh, microphones and start talking with these. It's only me and these 11 year old kids probably <laughs> playing, so it's not that it's not that cool maybe, but yeah. it's fun. And so, what do you think house music is going to be like in, a, in the next year? It's it's always impossible to to predict because you know one track is always changing everything. Um, and I don't know, maybe it goes back more to the roots, like um, old school house music, um, which I love. So hopefully it goes in that direction. And who would you say is the next big thing that people should look out for? Um, we just got a guy in the studio named uh, Albin Myers, who just, he's been releasing stuff for two years maybe, three years, and, um, but it's not really hit it as DJ yet for outside of Sweden, um, so I'm just kind of hoping for him to go out there, and I'm taking him on board on some uh, gigs I'm doing in Europe, um, but he's super talented, he's got great tracks going on, so I think that's the next thing. So everyone's really surprised by how young you are, and how does that make you feel? I mean, I've always been the young, young one. I, I started out when I was, I had my first record out when I was 15, and and I'm 24 and I, I've been already in the in the business for nine years, and um, you know, it's, I don't think people care nowadays. You know, comes 19 year olds who release records, and you know. Um, but before, when I, uh, when I was in the beginning, I was always the young one, and people was like, "Yeah, you know, he's so young." And, uh, they didn't take you very seriously. No, <laughs> but I guess I proved myself now. So, what are you working on right now? What could we expect out of you next? I'm just focusing on getting um, a lot of singles out there. Um, so I just had the beach track out. And I think in two weeks I have a track called Olympia, which is going to be released. And um, yeah, a few uh, big ones coming out after the summer, so I'm really excited.